Welcome back. Well, here's the current view looking out from Gustavus Adolphus College in St. Peter. Beautiful sunrise out there, though. You can see some hazy conditions. And that is not really just because of fog. It is due to a little bit of that wildfire smoke in the area. I'll get to that in just a second here. Temperatures. The reason we're dealing with some of that smoke here at the surface is because of these cooler temperatures. Just like warm air rises, cool air sinks, and anything with that cool air, such as wildfire smoke, will sink with that cool air. So this cooler air is bringing that smoke down to the surface. Though you walk outside and temperatures feel great, 45 degrees in Forest City with 46 in Wasika, 48 in Owatonna. We're seeing 53 here in Mankato and Redwood Falls with 56 degrees out by Worthington, 57 currently in St. Peter. Winds right now are very light, mainly coming out of the south southeast, anywhere from calm conditions up to 10 miles an hour. Another breeze is expected to move in by this afternoon, which is going to feel great out there. And speaking of that breeze, that's why that air quality wasn't as bad or noticeable yesterday. Those winds, the stronger the winds are, just like we talk about with fog, the stronger the winds are, the more they move that fog out. The stronger the winds are, the more they will move that smoke out of the area a bit quicker. Satellite radar imagery showing that we're starting our Friday and weekend off on the quiet side with little to no cloud coverage out there, though again, current air quality is in yellow or moderate despite a little bit of orange in the t uh, Twin Cities areas. Now we are expected to see a mix of yellow and orange or moderate to that sensitive group um, for the air quality this afternoon because of right now, like I said, with the cooler temperatures in the area, we are seeing a little bit of that smoke down here at the surface. So we are down to three miles of visibility in Forest City, five in Wasika and Owatonna, with six in Mason City and Algona, four miles of visibility in Hutchinson, nine here in Mankato and St. Peter. Again, it's not the worst. We've definitely had worse visibility out there. Just something to keep your mind on and maybe remind you to drive with your air circulation feature on so you're recycling the already clean air in your car. Now here's a look at your uh, air quality forecast for this afternoon. Like I said, most of southern Minnesota will be in that moderate zone all day today. However, the more north you head, the more you're going to get into that unhealthy for some zone by this afternoon. And so anywhere from the extra, those that are extra sensitive to wildfire smoke to those that have heart and lung disease, pregnant women, elderly adults, younger children, those groups in the orange zone should limit their time outside. Now, because of that, the air quality alert for most of southern Minnesota has been expired because we're only projected to stay in that moderate zone. But where we are going to see some of that uh, orange zone today, we are expected to see that air quality alert remain in effect until later tonight. Other than that little bit of smoke, we are looking at a rather pleasant day ahead with a little bit of a breeze, temperatures in the low 80s and sunshine. Tonight, clear skies stick around for most of the area and then tomorrow, is when we have to brace ourselves for that heat wave returning to the area with 90s on the way. Light winds, not much of help out there with those mid 90s and humidity is going to return as well, making it feel more like those upper 90s through tomorrow afternoon. Today, hazy skies sticking around with that breeze moving in and a high of 81 degrees by this afternoon. Tonight, again, cooling off just a little bit, but improving air quality with a low of 68 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast again. Sunday will be a little bit cooler with those mid to upper 80s in the forecast. And then as we go into next week, it's going to get hot and humid once again. Wednesday will be the worst of it with those upper 90s. And then we'll slowly start to cool off as we head into next weekend. Kelsey, Lisa.